Hi little foxes, we're going to read a new story today. It's called The Shopping Basket by John Birmingham. I've got my special friend Felix Fox here with me. Have you got yours? Then let's begin. Pop down to the shop for me, will you, Stephen, and buy six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for your tea, and leave this note at number 25. So Stephen set off for the shop, carrying his basket. He passed number 25, the gap in the railings, the full litter basket, the men digging up the pavement, and a house where the nasty dog lived, and arrived at the shop. He bought the six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for his tea. When he came out of the shop, there was a bear. I want those eggs, said the bear, and if you don't give them to me, I'll hug all the breath out of you. If I threw an egg up in the air, said Stephen, you're so slow, I bet you couldn't even catch it. Me slow, said the bear. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. When he got to the house where the nasty dog lived, there was a monkey. <laughs> Give me those bananas, said the monkey, or I'll pull your hair. If I threw a banana onto that kennel, you're so noisy, I bet you couldn't get it without waking the dog. Me? Noisy? said the monkey. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. When he got to where the men were digging up the pavement, there was a kangaroo. Give me those apples you have in your basket, said the kangaroo, or I'll thump you. If I threw an apple over that tent, you're so clumsy, I bet you couldn't even jump over to get it. Me clumsy, said the kangaroo. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to the litter basket, there was a goat. Give me the oranges you have in your basket, said the goat, or I'll butt you over the fence. If I put an orange in that litter basket, you're so stupid, I bet you couldn't even get it out. Me stupid, said the goat. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. When he got to the gap in the railings, there was a pig. <sighs> Give me those donuts, said the pig, or I'll squash you against the railings. If I put the donuts through that gap in the railings, you're so fat, I bet you couldn't squeeze through and get them. Me, fat, said the pig. So Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. When he got to number 25, there was an elephant. Give me those crisps, said the elephant, or I'll whack you with my trunk. If I put these crisps through that letterbox, your trunk is so short, I bet you could not even reach it. My trunk short, said the elephant. And Stephen hurried on home, carrying his basket. But when he got to his own house, there was his mother. Where on earth have you been, Stephen? I only asked you to get six eggs, five bananas, four apples, Three oranges, two donuts, and a packet of crisps. How could it have taken so long? The end. Well, thank you so much for joining me for my story today. Bye. See you soon. Monkey, 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 monkey.